Welcome, folks. Basil Chapman for the Tiger Financial News Network. 11 a.m. update. Don't forget to go to the front page of TFNM for the Tiger Dollar Sale. Fantastic sale going on right now. Dow's up. Put the wrong thing up here. Yeah, let me do that again. The Dow is up quite sharply, considering after yesterday's big move. It is up uh, 227 points to 36,155. Uh, this is a good move because it needed to break above that trend line, the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, now turn into a propellant zone. It's done that so far. Day is young. We'll see how we close. S&P, the futures made a, a new all-time high in the S&P, but the S&P itself is underneath the high of 47.43 made on the 22nd of November. 47.31.99 was the high today. Uh, it's, it's still acting pretty well if you look at it, but QQQ, that's where the trouble is. The QQQs, there's still too many of these big, big, those NASDAQ 100 stocks that had fantastic moves, just huge digestive phases, and they're still in the digestive phase, down four at 392. If you're looking at the SMHs, semiconductors also tried to rally and also failed uh, down four at 304, but still both of them are up in the higher ranges, they near all time highs. So it's a consolidation. Looking at the IWM, very weak earlier on, it's trying to rally now, it's up 65 cents. Uh, it's the laggard of the group and it is trading at 218. But look at gold. Gold is holding most of its gains. Uh, in fact, it's gone even higher. It's up 33 now, 1797. I've been saying it needs to trade above 1807 to suggest that that's a breakout to the upside and it's raised the base of support. That's really important. Crude oil has just been kind of hanging around. Uh, crude oil is up $1.35, but within a range, acting quite nicely. And if you're looking at the TLT, really important bonds, Bonds have been pulling back. They're down uh, 12 ticks at 149.13 on the Lehman 20 year. This is that dreaded H pattern. It looks like a lowercase H. If it takes out that left side, if it goes under 148 in the next couple of days, those rates are going to go higher, and that might be impacting the home builds. I spoke about that in my show, the Target Ignitions Hour, a few moments ago. Uh, so if you want to listen to that, but I am suggesting that the home builders could be taking a bit of a breather here. So this is a very diverse market. The Dow type stocks are doing well, and the uh, the defensive stocks like uh, General Mills, like uh, you know Coca Colas, etc., are holding very well. Uh, some are making all time highs. So I'm going to hand you over to uh, Larry Pizzoletto. That should be a wonderful show as always don't forget we start at nine with tommy jr the market kickoff fabulous show so check it out and i uh, hope you have a great day see you same time tomorrow